In this video, Duke and I and our friends Rick and Elaine continue our road trip in Switzerland. We drive into the Alps and end up in Zurich. This morning we left Lochla and now we are driving to Hotel Oppenberg in Zazewell. Along the way, we stopped at a grocery store for picnic supplies. The Easter candy sure looked good. Is that going to work for a fridge? Yeah, that will work. We had a picnic lunch and later ate dinner in the hotel restaurant. I liked the pig decor. We were the only people in the restaurant. The next morning after breakfast, we headed south into the Alps to the resort town of Gretchen. So finally got a sunny day and we can see mountains in Switzerland. I'm wondering, we're thinking maybe that's the Matterhorn over there. You can also kind of see the mountains through the clouds there. It's the way we're going today, so I'm sure we'll get a lot of better mountain pictures. Right now Duke's filling up with gas, or with diesel. The route Google proposed and that we were following said to take the Lochenberg Tunnel Train. We hadn't realized that the tunnel train would be part of the route. The Lochenberg Tunnel is about nine miles long. Taking the tunnel train is a lot like taking a ferry. You arrive, pay your toll, pull up, wait a bit, and then drive onto the train, which soon heads into the tunnel and deposits you on the other side of the mountains. Is there a book or something titled The Other Side of the Mountain? <laughs> yes. At this point, we are overlooking the town of Gampel in the Rhone Valley at an elevation of about 2,000 feet or 600 meters. We're only about 20 miles from our destination, but we will still need to climb another 3,000 feet before getting to Gretchen. Apparently the ski season closes here tomorrow, but we've seen people skiing down that slope. We're going to get the 
bring the car up there now. We just checked in. How's that for a view? The next day we drove to Lucerne. Soon after leaving Gretchen, we saw a suspension bridge going over the valley and stopped to check it out. It's the Goms Bridge. Apparently it's 280 meters long and it's one of the longest pedestrian suspension bridges in the world. This uh, bridge bounces, and I'm not even near the middle of it yet. I don't know that I'm going to go very far. <laughs> Then we got to ride another car train, this time going through the Furka Tunnel. I think that's the uh, car train that we're going to get on in a few minutes. Kind of see where the cars are going to drive on. In Lucerne, we parked under the square that is in front of the train station and then walked to our hotel.
and went out exploring. One of the main tourist sites in Lucerne is the Chapel Bridge. It was originally built in the 14th century and it crosses the Rus River. Although the temperature was cold, we stopped for beer and enjoyed the sunshine. This is our hotel, the Walderstoff Swiss Quality Hotel. From our window, we could see the Rus River to the left and the mountains to the right. The next morning we drove to Basel and returned our rental car. Then we took a bus to the train station. We had to wait a while for our train to Zurich, so we found a place to sit and had coffee and pastries. In Zurich, we checked into our hotel and then went for a walk down the river to Lake Zurich. The next morning, we went to the airport to see Rick and Elaine off on their trip home. We had a great time traveling with them. Duke and I went back into central Zurich. At the train station, Duke said hi to the Easter Bunny. Then we walked to the bus station and took a bus to Munich. <laughs> 